The topic, Chase Winovich. The question, is he underrated? Let's just get into it. Okay, so kind of lost in the shuffle of all of the tremendous edge rushing rookies that came out of last year's draft. Uh, one guy that really didn't, doesn't get talked about a lot is Chase Winovich. And, you know, there's reasons for it. He was a fourth round pick. Uh, he, you know, had five and a half sacks last year. So it's not like he was incredible or anything. I mean, you know, Max Crosby was drafted in the same round and Crosby definitely outperformed Winovich. Although what I find interesting about Winovich is that if you look at his actual snap totals, he did not get that much playing time. In fact, out of all of the great edge rushing rookies, you know, Nick Boza, uh, Josh Allen, obviously Max Crosby, as I mentioned, no one had as many sacks per snap played than Chase Winovich. He had the most amount of snaps if you adjust for playing time. Excuse me, most amount of sacks if you adjust for playing time. So what happened? What went into it? Well, to be honest, it was a lot of just him doing his role. I think he's a really good role player, but you know what? That has some value, and like this was a good example of how he got one of his sacks. Uh, it's going to be a twist right here. And so the way this works is Winovich is the one who, uh, he's going to be the one swooping around, eventually going around to tackle, so he's lined up uh, closer to the middle of the field than the other player who's going to be important here. Uh, but the the thing about this play that's interesting is that, you know, the way it works is typically you want to get s some offensive lineman out of position. Typically, it's going to be the tackle, 77. Uh, basically, uh, Winovich's teammate runs into the tackle, and he just sort of runs around. But what I love about how Winovich approaches this is watch how he's going to go and attack 63 first. Watch how he starts off as though he's running to, into him, but then makes a quick swipe move and gets around, and he's able to be in there and help make the sack. I'll show it a couple times, you know, it's just, it's good speed. Uh, again, this isn't the same as him just, you know, being able to beat a left tackle one-on-one -on -one with a, you know, move. He's not really that guy. And you know what? That's okay. New England doesn't need to have a guy like that. In fact, a lot of what they do is not having a Chandler Jones, who, you know, they ha they, they obviously famously uh, traded him away for peanuts because they didn't want to pay him, even though he's one of the best players in football. Uh, because they don't need that. They want guys who can just do their role. They trust that they can get pressure just with role players, uh, you know, close to the same amount as they would be able to if they had guys who can get consistent pressure. And he is one of those guys who can be a role player that can allow consistent pe pressure without you having to pay him too much. But, like, this is another example. Uh, it's going to be the same thing, a twist. Uh, and this time he's he is the one who's lined up on the edge right here. Uh, and what's going to happen is that, uh, again, he's going to do something very similar, right? When the ball is snapped, notice how he runs so far over to the tackle and then gets his left hand and is going to slap that tackle's hand out of the way. Uh, again, this is the move that you can try and pull off. He's not trying to pull this off in a traditional way. He's just trying to get the tackle out of position. Uh, and doing this does two things. One, it helps sell to the guard that, uh, you know, you're going up against a tackle. So you might have more space uh, when you move over and finish off this twist. But the other thing it does is it gets a tackle basically out of the play, and it could free up uh, a situation for your teammate. And as you see, they're both able to create some pressure, but it is Winovich who ends up making the tackle. I also do think that, and yes, I, I, I realize the, the, the humor here, but I am going to say that I like the football IQ of the, the short white guy. I get it, but I actually do. I think that he makes some really smart plays. Uh, like on this one, going up one-on-one -on -one against uh, a left tackle right here. And what's going to happen right when this uh, ball is snapped is it kind of latches on. doesn't even really try to move too much. It kind of looks like kind of a weird thing. You're assuming he's almost setting something up, and perhaps he's going to just drop back into coverage. Uh, that's That would be a safe assumption uh, for 77, who's going up against Winovich, to, to assume here. But one, Winovich just steps back a little bit. He's then able to get a clearing and is able to run over and make the sack. Just, a, again, a smart play. And he's finding ways to get pressures and to get sacks without him overpowering guys. Also, I, th I think I called him short earlier in this video. Apparently, he's 6'3", 250 pounds. Doesn't look it, but okay, I, I buy it. Uh, you know, definitely looks a little smaller. Maybe he inflates the numbers a little bit. Uh, but but either way, I mean, you know, he's uh, he he he's not like a, a, a you know miniature person out there, but at the same time, he's not he definitely uh, a little bit away from uh, Jadavian Clowney, so to speak. 
This is another play I like from him. Uh, again, one-on-one against the left tackle. Uh, and right when this ball is snapped, again, he's just going to uh, create contact right away, uh, almost as if he's going to try to do some sort of uh, move where he gets to the outside. Uh, this is not going to work out very well. He's going. He's not going to win this strength battle right here, which is fine. Uh, you know, you lose all the time. But again, what I like about this is how he goes about this, where he's going to uh, watch how he sort of just pushes off. And very similar to the last play, he completely abandons the contact right there. You don't see too many guys doing that. But he's okay with doing this because he trusts that he all he has to do is make one move and he could have a straight shot to try to get into this play. Uh, and what he's going to do at this point is it looks like he's going to pull off the same move, uh, which did not work very well the first time. And if you're a tackle, you have to assume that you would have a very good chance if he tries that move again here. However, that is not what he's going to do. He fake going to put the head down again, but then he just swipes his hands away and he's actually able to make a sack. So again, that's a lot of what Winovich's sacks were. And I think that's why it's fair to not be as high on him as, you know, some guys like Max Crosby and, you know, uh, some other players who were just guys who were beating tackles as opposed to Winovich, who's a lot of his sacks were kind of smoke and mirrors, kind of smart plays. Uh, but you know what? Listen, if you get a sack, it, it, it counts all the same. I do find the New England Patriots interesting. I do think that Winovich, uh, he's probably going to end up having to have a much bigger role than they kind of were preparing him to have heading into year two, because uh, just because of all the, the opt-outs. Uh, and, you know, they lost Kyle Van Noy, uh, Donta Hightower, and Jamie Collins now. So they have some shoes to fill. I realize that Winovich doesn't really play those positions, but also, you know, the, the New England Patriots, to some degree, will play positionless football at times so uh you know I, I suspect that he will probably uh kind of be, be in that a bit of that mold of doing whatever because I know if I don't clarify that people in the comments are going to say they're completely different positions he doesn't play the position of middle linebacker I know he doesn't I'm not saying he does but there's there's there are similarities and there are carryovers on those positions that's why I'm bringing it up uh they've they've lost a lot but uh I do think that Winovich probably will have to get more playing time but we'll see if he's up to the task. I think it should be interesting. You know, uh, one of the reasons I wanted to make a video about him is because I was pretty high on him coming into the draft. Uh, and I think he's done all right. I think he's definitely been a solid role player, uh, which for a fourth rounder, I mean, that's all you can ask for. So, uh, you know, if he can develop and start to, you know, actually get to the point where he can beat people without having to outsmart them, that would be ideal. But uh, even without that, he can still be, he might end up getting 10 sacks one season. Who knows? He got five and a half on only 300 snaps. So it's certainly possible. What do you guys think of Winovich's uh, first season? Let me know in the comments below. I always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.